Hi guys! Welcome back to Mathy One. In our today's video, we discuss natin how to multiply and divide fractions. Let us have first the multiplication of fractions. In multiplying fractions, multiply the numerators, next the denominators, and express the product in lowest terms. Examples. First, we have 1 over 4 times 5 over 6. So, based on rule, multiply numerator to num numerator and then denominator to denominator. So, we have 1 times 5 over 4 times 6. And then, we will get the product of 5 over 24. So, the, pro uh, the product of the fractions 1 over 4 and 5 over 6 is 5 over 24. Next, we have 7 over 9 times 2 over 5. Again, our numerators are 7 and 2. The denominators are 9 and 5. So, multiply lang natin sila. So, 7 times 2, all over 9 times 5. So, get the product. We have 14 over 45. So therefore, the product of the fraction 7 over 9 and 2 over 5 is 14 over 45. Another example, we have 3 over 4 times 5 over 6. So again, let us multiply the numerators and denominators. Again, imumultiply muna natin yung numerators and then isusunod natin si denominators. Okay, so our numerators are 3 and 5. The denominators are 4 and 6. So multiply 3 times 5, that is 15, over 4 times 6 is 24. So now yung 15 over 24, since hindi pa siya naka lowest term, kailangan pa natin siyang i lowest term or i simplify. So para ma simplify, kunin ng greatest common factor, that is 3. So, i-divide natin sila o siya both numerator and the denominator. So, 15 divided by 3 is 5 and then 24 divided by 3 is 8. So, therefore, the product of the fractions 3 over 4 and 5 over 6 is 5 over 8. So, ngayon, pwede natin i-apply ang cancellation method. Bakit? Kasi, Kung mapapansin natin sa given sa 3 over 4 at 5 over 6, meron tayong common factor. So, ano daw siya? Ano ang common factor? Okay, so ganito gagawin natin. So, we have 3 over 4 times 5 over 6. So, kung mapapansin natin, yung 3 over 4, pwede tayong mag-cancel. Taas, baba. Numerator, denominator sa isang side. And then yung opposite, 3 and 6, and then 5 and 4. Hahanapin lang natin yung common factor. Okay, so sino ang may common factor? So ang may common factor lang ay si 3 at 6. So silang dalawa ang ikakansal natin. So ano daw ang common factor ni 3 at 6? 3. So i-divide natin siya, 3 divided by 3, 1. 6 divided by 3, 2. So, therefore, let us multiply them. So, magiging 1 times 5 and then 4 times 2. So, when we get the product of the numerators, then the denominators, so we have 5 over 8. So, makikita natin para mas madali tayong magmultiply, pwede natin gamitin si cancellation method. So, hindi na natin kailangan mag lowest term kasi ang answer na natin is in the lowest term. Next example, we have 15 over 16 times 4 over 5. So, check natin kung pwedeng i-apply ang cancellation method. So, tingnan natin yung 15 over 16. So, walang common factor. 4 over 5, wala rin common factor. So, tingnan natin yung opposite nila. 15 and 5, Pwede. So, meron silang common factor. 4 and 16. 
meron pa rin sa merong common factor sa so let us apply the cancellation method 15 and 5 cancel natin sila so ang common factor ay 5 15 divided by 5 is 3 then 5 divided by 5 is 1 next 4 16 so ang common factor ay 4 so 4 divided by 4 is 1 then 16 divided by 4 is 4 So, kunin natin lahat ng mga natira na numbers. So, sila ang imumultiply natin. So, we have 3 times 1 for the numerators. And the denominators are 4 times 1 or 4 and 1. So, 3 times 1 is 3 over 4 times 1 is 4. So, therefore, the product of the fractions 15 over 16 and 4 over 5 is 3 over 4. So, kung makikita natin pag in ang cancellation method, naka-lowest term na kaagad yung sagot natin. Next, 5. We have 4 and 1 over 3 times 15 over 26. So, yung first given natin, meron tayong mixed number. So, first, change it into a improper fraction. So, kapag change natin siya sa improper fraction, so yung denominator natin na 3, Imumultiply natin sa whole number na 4 and then i-add sa numerator na 1. So, we have 13 over 3 because 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. Then, copy the denominator. The denominator is 3 kaya naging 13 over 3. Then, multiply natin siya sa 15 over 26. So, again, Check kung pwede natin i-apply ang cancellation method sa 13 and 3. Walang common factor. 15 and 26. Wala rin common factor. So, tingnan natin yung opposite. 13 and 26. Meron. So, pwede i-cancel natin silang dalawa. So, ang common factor ay 13. 13 divided by 13 is 1. 26 divided by 13 is 2. Next, 15, 3. So, that is 15 divided by 3, 5. 3 divided by 3, 1. Okay, so, tingnan natin. Multiply. 1 times 5 over 1 times 2. So, the product is 5 over 2 or 2 and 1 over 2. Now, how can we divide fractions? To divide fractions, we multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So, dapat alam natin kung ano ang dividend at ang divisor. Example, we have 6 over 40 divided by 2 over 5. So, ang dividend natin ay 6 over 40 at ang divisor ay 2 over 5. So, ire-reciprocal doon natin or get the reciprocal of the divisor, which is 2 over 5. So, magiging 5 over 2. So, nag, ang ginawa natin, nag-flip lang tayo. Okay? So, yung numerator, ginawang denominator. Ang denominator, ginawang numerator. So, we have now 6 over 40 times 5 over 2. So, ang ginawa natin is keep change flip again sa division of fractions keep change flip so now let us multiply tingnan natin kung pwedeng i-apply ang cancellation method okay so pwedeng 6 and 2 pwedeng i-cancel so may common factor that is 2 6 divided by 2 is 3 2 divided by 2 is 1 and then 5 and 40 pwede pa rin So, 5, 40. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So, tingnan natin yung natira. 3 times 1 over 8 times 1. So, get the product. We have 3 over 8. Next, 2. 3 and 1 over 4 divided or divided by 4 over 5. So, para makuha natin yung... Quotient niya, 
So, ang dividend natin is 3 and 1 over 4. So, change muna natin siya into a improper fraction. So, kapag change natin siya into a improper fraction, so let us multiply the denominator to the whole number. So, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 in numerator that is 13 over 4. Then, copy the denominator. So, since ang denominator ay 4, so ang denominator ni 13 ay 4. So, ita times natin siya sa reciprocal ng 4 over 5. That is 5 over 4. Again, so ang ginawa ulit natin is keep, change, flip. So, now let us perform. So, 13 times 5, all over 4 times 4. So, wala na tayong common factor. So, ang gagawin lang natin, direct i-multiply si numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So, simplify, we have 65 over 16 or 4 and 1 over 16. To generalize our discussion, in multiplying fractions, we simply multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator, then simplify if possible. In dividing fractions, we multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor or keep, change, flip.